Hey there, thanks for watching my Content Gorilla AI review by Neil Napier, where I'm not just going to walk you through the sales page or show you the demo video like a lot of other marketers do. I'm Susie, I'll be your affiliate marketing informant today, informing you of everything you want and need to know about affiliate marketing. This Content Gorilla AI review is based on my honest opinion of logging into this dashboard myself. I'm going to take you with me as we research this platform, the strategy they want you to use, and any problems that I see with it. If you are looking for honest and ethical ways to make money online, be sure to click our instant access link in the description below. If you found value in this video, please give it a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them for you as soon as I can. Now. Let's see what Content Gorilla promises us. Stop stressing over content. Finally, a real AI solution with authority. Generate content in the style of Tony Robbins or Neil Patel in just 59 seconds. Create expert level blog posts in minutes with their cloud-based app used by over 8,000 people. If we scroll down just a little bit further, they tell us this is going to build your own content machine that works around the clock. Basically, they're telling you that content is king and you really want people like Tony Robbins or Neil Patel and their copywriters to write your content because high quality content is what sells. And high quality content usually has a cost. And if you go and decide to simply steal somebody like that's content and just hope that they don't notice, then you're really going to get in trouble. You may even need to hire a lawyer. So the creators are telling you this on the sales page that you really just don't want to go take other people's videos and copy them and reblog them. Creator is saying they discovered a YouTube show transcript feature and that to stay legally compliant, he focused on Creative Commons rights videos. This is a license that allows you to use a video and its content freely, but you always want to double check that. So basically, Content Gorilla AI is going to allow you to create blog posts from Creative Commons videos and allow you to create additional original content in their style. Let's take a look inside. So here we are on the Content Gorilla AI dashboard. First thing we want to do whenever we come into a program is always go into the training. Content Gorilla has actually been out for three years. On April 12th, they are launching their AI version. So for Content Gorilla and its functions, it's got three years worth of training in here. It is step-by-step -step and some supplemental for any problems that come up. And up until this walkthrough in February of 2021, some of their training methods were a little questionable. That's why I was very relieved to see on the sales page that they were talking about be sure to use Creative Commons. Don't just use somebody else's video. That is very important with this product. If you do use this the wrong way, you will get in trouble for copyright infringement. Once you've gone through all of the old training, the new training for Content Gorilla AI actually lives in the support function on the right. It tells you a little bit about some of their new updates, and then there is a training video in there for you to learn some of the new functions. After you've completed all that, you will need to come into settings, and the first thing you need to do is connect your YouTube API key. If you don't have one, they do walk you through that step by step. You will need this API key so that when you're on your dashboard, videos actually show up. Without it, they will not. There are a few other settings that you will need to attend to at the bottom, and the training covers that extensively. Next, you have an option to integrate your social sites, such as Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. This will allow you to integrate with your current existing platforms and followers. So if you don't have people on these platforms that want to read articles from you and possibly buy things from you, the only thing that will help you get more customers is the quality of the article that you are posting on your blog. These social accounts are in addition to that. You will also need to connect your site, and this is where you connect your website that you want these articles posted to as a blog post. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the exact wrong way to use this platform. If you use the platform like this, you will get in trouble for copyright infringement up to and including Google banning your website. If you just find videos to copy and then you post them to a blog post, that is stealing somebody else's content and Google will read it as duplicate content and it will not rank on Google. 
The algorithm will shut it down. And especially if you just bulk post that, where you find a channel that you really like and you just have it bulk post directly to your website without doing any kind of editing or proofreading the article before it goes out, that is the fastest way to get yourself in trouble. So what we want to know in here is, is Content Gorilla AI going to be able to convert a YouTube video to a blog post? Let's talk about the YouTube videos that you can use. Content Gorilla AI is not going to pull all videos. They do have to be able to be transcribed. So sometimes when you put a URL in, it will not pull it. If you find a channel you like that does happen to be Creative Commons, you could use the videos and any of the content as well. Creative Commons does give you that license, but double check the videos and make sure that they are Creative Commons. The second way you can use Content Gorilla, let's say we put in a search term such as affiliate marketing, and we wanted to look at any video. I'm just gonna choose this first video, and all you have to do is click Create Post. What Content Gorilla does is it listens to this post and creates a transcript. Once this transcript is completed, you can add punctuation, you can create paragraphs. Down at the bottom, you can correct grammar if you need to. You do have the ability to add images. Now, one of the updates is that you can come in here and add a sentence. If you highlight this sentence, you can actually have this program write content for you based on that sentence. So this is one of the new features, is expanding a sentence. You can choose professionally, casually, or in the voice of. This is where they said that you could have Tony Robbins or Neil Patel write this. If you were to put their name in, Content Gorilla is supposed to write it as if they were writing it. We're just gonna choose professionally and submit. So off of me typing in blogging in 2022, let's see what Content Gorilla returns. They did write us a few sentences and it says blogging will continue to grow in popularity in 2022. Nearly half of Americans currently use blogs as a form of communication and the trend is expected to continue. Blogging platforms will continue to thrive and there will be more opportunities for content creators to monetize their blogs. So it did write us a few sentences. Let's take a look and run this through a plagiarism checker and see if it's original content. So I happen to be using Copyscape for this and we'll just run a search. So no results were found. This is 100% original. The second new function that they're giving you in Content Gorilla AI is that you could take several sentences of what was said in the transcript. So if we scroll down a little bit and take something that was actually said in the transcript, we should be able to spin this using the paraphrase option. Using the review access, I do have a maximum of 350 characters, so let's decrease the size of this. And this might be one of the problems with this AI. If you're gonna have to pay per word, this could get pretty expensive. So you'll need to do a cost analysis on if that's gonna make a difference for you or if you're gonna be able to afford it. Let's see if we can paraphrase these few sentences. So that still says it's too long. Let's try again. It says fake pre-recorded webinars where they're not actually there. They're using money guns to show, throw money around, and they're sitting and flexing on their Porsches in their Lamborghinis. Let's see if we can paraphrase that. So this one paraphrased to, some webinars may seem like they're being recorded, but they're actually not. This is called a money gun webinar. The webinars are usually attended by people who are trying to make a quick buck by showing off their wealth, and they're telling you you can make $100 a day doing this and $400 a day doing that and you can just type names and make $30 an hour, and it's all lies their entire business. So that's pretty strongly worded. Um, I am 100% certain that we would need to edit this because we're definitely not talking about a money gun webinar. So like the content that it's spinning or the transcript that it is sending out from the video, you need to come in here and edit this. For this particular article, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, he's actually already got a link in there. So if you didn't want that link in your blog post on your website for somebody else's product, you would definitely need to come in here and delete that. This can save you time from having to actually write down or find out how to write down all the words for this into a neat little package where you could actually copy it to the clipboard or save it as a draft and come back to it so that you could use this for inspiration. But I certainly wouldn't use this to rewrite the whole thing if you're gonna have to pay by word. And you noticed when I had it write the sentences for blogging in 2022, 
It did only write about four sentences for me. So that's not going to be a whole blog post. This really is just to help with inspiration. Another way that you could use Content Gorilla AI is if you had a video that you posted. Kim actually made a video for how to get Provely for free for our YouTube channel. And then she also made a blog post for our website, affiliatemarketinginformant.com. Kim and I use scripts for our video, so she already had a script written. Using the timestamps over on the left, that's like a rough outline for her. But what she was able to do is take this link, enter it into Content Gorilla, and then create a post with it. You'll be able to come in and add punctuation. You can see that added commas. It didn't actually break up the sentences yet, so we can create paragraphs. Now you'll see it still has a little bit of work to go. There's some things that need to be capitalized. There's still no periods in here. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you are able to correct the grammar. And then Content Gorilla AI gives you a really strong foundation to start building a blog post with in conjunction with the script for the video and the timestamps I showed you earlier. Now, because this is our script, we don't have to use AI to spin this. We can come in here and adjust this as we want to, especially if we feel like we needed to add to or subtract anything. This would be a great place to do it for our blog post. You also have the option to add images and you can spin the content from here in English only. The editor down below where the transcript lives is a what you see is what you get. You are able to bold italics, add in links, add in other images and set headers as well. The other way to add links is to go to keyword auto hyperlink at the top. Here you would be able to put in a keyword or a word that shows up frequently in your content and you could redirect it to an affiliate link. Content Gorilla is immediately going to pull the thumbnail that YouTube uses unless you change the featured image by uploading from here. It pulls the tags that are in YouTube and the SEO scoring function pulls your title, your tags, and you can get a review. Let's see what this one pulls up. So this is 61%, 235 out of 385 SEO points earned. And it, I can click here to get more information on how to improve that. There is a syndication option and you can also publish directly from here or save it as a draft. So when Kim did this, it saved her about three hours total. It took a six hour blog post writing down to about three hours for her. She still had to come in here and clean it up and reformat it for a blog post as well as Google SEO. But if she had started from scratch and just had to watch this video and use her script and her timestamps, it definitely would have taken her much longer to get the structure and the content format right. Now there's also a third way that you can use Content Gorilla. Me personally, when I started doing review videos, I would type in the name of the product I was gonna review, and I would find about three videos that I really liked the solid points of, and I would create posts and pull the information I wanted into my script and reformat it. I would also make sure I was adding something different so it wasn't the same as everybody else's. You can use this if you find recipes, if you find a recipe YouTube video that you want, you can come in here and create this post and then you would be able to print it out. Or if you wanted to find three or four different recipes to compare, you could do that here as well. You can definitely use Content Gorilla as inspiration and then you would be able to create your own original unique content. The new AI functions that they put in here work just fine. We checked them with a plagiarism detector. It was 100% original. The issue is that you can get into is copyright trouble. If we look at Google Search Central and the webmaster guidelines for any website, if you don't follow these guidelines, it can lead to a site being removed entirely from the Google index or otherwise affected by an algorithmic or manual spam action, which means you may no longer show up in Google results at all. They give you some general guidelines, and as you read through here, you start to realize the only thing Google is really concerned about is your visitors or how your users travel through your page. They wanna know that it's easy to use your website. Do all the links go to actual live web pages? Are your loading times good to make your users happy? Design your site for all devices so your users can use them wherever they want to. The quality guidelines that Google gives you is all because they don't want their users to be deceived. It shouldn't have anything to do with search engines. It shouldn't have anything to do with tricks to improve engine rankings. And some of the specific guidelines to avoid is using automatically generated content. Creating pages with little or no original 
content using scraped content really the only thing google cares about is that it sounds like it's coming from a human so if you want to use content gorilla to assist you and in the future if your content is actually ai assisted as long as you're looking at what your end users benefit is going to be and that they have a good experience and you keep your reader in mind at all times, you should be just fine. Let's take a look at the pricing for Content Gorilla. On the front end, you have two options. You can pay $17 monthly, or they do have a special one-time fee of $24.95 as of today, April 11th, the day before launch. Those prices might change. Upsell number one is the unlimited. This is where you would actually be able to do more than just a few words. This is going to be a yearly charge on top of your front end payment. It's either $197 per year or $397 per year based on how many words you want. Remember to do the math on your average blog post and kind of see how much that's going to need to be for you. Upsell number two is done for you blogs at $97. Upsell number three is agency where you sell this to other people. For 50 accounts it's $147 and for 100 it's $197. Upsell number four is the university where you get training for $37. And all total Content Gorilla can run you anywhere from 503 to 703 dollars and just to get past up sell number one you're gonna have to pay 197 to 397 a year i'm truly gonna leave this up to you if you think you have a use for content gorilla that will not get you into copyright infringement trouble or cause you duplicate content on your blog or website Remember, if you are looking for honest and ethical ways to make money online, be sure to click our instant access link in the description below. If you found value in this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I really hope this Content Gorilla AI review answered all of your questions. If it didn't and you still have questions, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.